showing you how all of this fits into this. Each player tray organizes each unit by cost, with the name of the unit type written at the bottom of each space. Technology and promissory note cards are placed in the unlabeled end of the tray. System tiles, home system tiles, and fleet stands fit into the tile tray. Planet cards, action cards, and agenda cards go into slots in the card tray, while the strategy cards slide in on the bottom. The custodian's token and speaker token are placed on their designated spots on top. The objective tray has designated sections for stage one, stage two, and secret objective cards with trays for dice on both ends. The victory point track is placed on top of the tray in the recessed area. There is one faction tray for each of the 17 factions. Faction specific cards are slid into their slot underneath. Command tokens are placed in the main tray, while control tokens are placed in the lane. Three bits trays are used to store trade good and commodity tokens, infantry tokens, and fighter tokens. The spacer can be used to hold your game board frames. Now that we got all the components sorted out, let's put it in the box. The spacer goes on the side with the objective tray on top. Then the six player trays stack to make two stacks of three. Next we fit the 17 faction trays and the three bits trays. Then the tile tray goes here and the card tray fits snugly into the remaining space. All faction sheets, command sheets, rule books, and the special system tile are placed on top. And that is how you put away your Imperious Twilight Organizer. Enjoy.